Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ari and in today's video I'm going to do a little bit of a different style. Um, so hopefully you guys like this, but um I decided to sit down and do a little bit of a life update of just kind of where I'm at with everything um, Some things that have changed some things that are hopefully soon to come. So uh, Let's just get right into it <laughs> So first things first, I just want to address the fact that my hair is down and it's natural no extensions or anything this is what my natural hair looks like. I feel like a lot of people always wonder why I wear extensions and like why I don't typically wear it down. Honestly, like since I've grown it out, it just isn't the shape that I want it to be. Wow, I just did a weird thing with my hands. <laughs> but um, I feel like so many natural girls, like they have the most like beautiful like shape and then there's me, you know? But anyways, I love it. It's mine, it's all good, it's all great. So I wrote down a few topics I wanted to talk about. So the first topic um, that I need to catch you guys up on, I'm taking the LSAT. So I take the LSAT exactly a month from today. Um, Y'all might see this video after today. So I take my LSAT um, November 17th. And this was kind of like a rash decision, I guess. Um, basically me and my mom were talking about it um, at one point I was really studying hard for the LSAT and then I just kind of like was just over it because I was just like I mean I'm trying to make this sh money now like I'm, I'm tired of school I don't know if I want to be in school for another three years but then um, so I put it down and I like was looking into real estate and just focusing on graduating so then my mom was like you know you owe it to yourself since you've been studying for so long and so hard to go ahead and take it so I signed up and I've started studying again. This was probably about two, three weeks ago. So I'm taking that and based on what I score will determine a little bit, I guess for me, if I pursue law school. Now don't get me wrong. I've always wanted to be a lawyer like since I was a little kid, but there's just some pros and cons. Like for me, a big con would be Obviously, I think I've mentioned this on my channel before. Um, I'm a human resource major, well, human resource and leadership with a minor in gender and women's studies. So for me, on average, even at a small company level, typically you'll be walking in anywhere from like 45, 50, if it's a good company, maybe 55, 60. I'm 21, that's good shamani, but, <laughs> You know, being a lawyer, of course you can make great money. However, that doesn't come instantly like everyone likes to assume. It comes after you've been established and after you have clientele, after you're under the right law firm, depending on what type of law you're practicing. There's just a lot of other factors that play into it that people don't typically think about. So, we'll see. I mean, I actually did tour a law school. I meant to vlog, but because we actually went on a tour and like we went into classrooms and like the law library and stuff. I feel like it'd be a little bit like rude and obnoxious to like be sitting in there like, hey guys, in today's video, we're at blank 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 law school. So I didn't end up vlogging, but the law school I went and visited, it was really nice. Um, it definitely felt like a law school, that's for sure. Um, it's actually a private law school, so I think the tuition was like 22,000 a semester, yikes. But luckily they do give scholarships based on your LSAT scores. So as far as um, as far as far how I've been studying, I have several LSAT prep books. I also have a few friends that I know that are, that are in law school right now. And then I've also been doing a lot of like looking at YouTube videos of people like teaching the different things. Like I know for me personally, and you can comment down below, you know, if you're in my same boat. Right now, the thing I'm struggling with the most, and I know for some people they're so easy, but I'm struggling so bad with like the logic games, but I found this YouTuber who like makes videos on LSAT and like logic games and stuff, and it seems to be helping. So fingers crossed that. Okay, so now this is gonna sound very contradictory, but let's talk about my masters. So when I put the idea of law school down, I kind of decided, okay, if I don't go to law school, I still have to do something because whenever I finish with school, I want to be done. Like I've always told myself, whenever I finish school, whatever degree I stop at, whether that's master's, doctorate, whatever the case may be, that's it. Like after that, I'm ready to start a career. A few years later, I'm ready to start a family. 
So based on how I do on this LSAT will determine if I pursue law school or if I go to get my master's. And even if I score well, I still may go ahead and get my master's. Um, I'm not exactly sure what to get my master's in, to be quite honest. I just know that I would get it. But um, my main purpose behind getting a master's, like I know a lot of people like after they get their bachelor's, they're just like, I'm done with school. You know, this has been a waste of four years, which honestly, relatable. But um, I would get my master's simply because it takes you to a different pay bracket. And all of that is contingent upon what your major is. Again, me being in HR, having a master's can be the difference in your salary being like $30,000 more. Another year of my life for 30, bet, bet. So I haven't really decided if I get my master's what I would get it in yet. I just know obviously I would I would get it and even I might even do my master's and then law school I don't know yet but I definitely want to look into it um I'm kind of behind the eight ball because it's currently October and I graduate in December haven't applied to any master's programs haven't even looked into them I've just been slacking I've been slacking with YouTube school it's just it's a lot it's it's a lot but um we gonna, we gonna get it together. Graduation, the juiciest topic. So how do I feel about graduating? Um, I kind of feel a little, like it feels surreal to like be like, wow. Like I'm literally about to have a college degree. Like I'm about to be done with college. And it's just crazy because I feel like at this time it's such a pivotal time. Like, okay, so what do I do next? Like that's kind of where my mind's been. I've been in this very like in between state. Like, okay, I'm about to have a degree. I'm about to be an adult, but also I'm low key not an adult because low key don't have an adult job. So there's just a lot of like thoughts swirling in my mind. A lot of anxiousness, excitedness, um, nervousness, just a lot of different emotions passing through my mind like on the daily. Like thinking about, okay, what's my next move? Like. You know, do I want to go ahead and start working full time? Do I want to go ahead and start my master's in January rather than taking a semester off? Like, there's just so much. But I definitely feel more than anything, I feel proud because, you know, everyone can't say that they got their bachelor's, you know. Even though a bachelor's has become basically equivalent to like a high school diploma these days, because everyone's getting masters and doctorates and everything like that. But I feel so proud to know like, I started something and I finished it, you know? And this isn't just like something minor. Like I feel like anybody who's approaching graduation or who's already graduated, like you should feel so proud of yourself because you stuck with it and you got that piece of paper. So now you can secure your bag and get your money. Um. So yeah, as far as after graduation, ideally I have my plan for the next one year and the next three years. So within the next year, I really would like to get an apartment. Um, as you know, or if you don't know, I live at home right now, um, which is fine, but it's kind of like, you know, I'm ready to take that leap and you know look at apartments and stuff. Um, so I definitely like to get an apartment. Um, I really want a dog, but I mean, I guess that's not, goal or ambition that's just a want but I want a dog like I want a teacup Yorkie bad um I want to be working in my field I mean this next year is really like bag season and I know that sounds like so like passe and like oh da, 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 everybody's saying that but, like truly I feel like this past season of my life as far as like my college experience has been a good experience challenging experience at times but overall pretty good um but now it's like it's time to secure the bag like we've been working hard to get this far so it's like now it's time to secure our money and get situated so definitely working in my field um and as far as my three-year plan in three years okay i'm about to turn 22 so in three years i just consider myself 25. so in three years i would really like to begin building my home i actually looked at a few houses and i haven't really found a house that i like a lot and for me 
I mean, I know people move around from like house to house before they find like their forever home. But like for me, I really want to make my first home like my forever home because around like 26, 27, like I want to start a family. So I don't really have time to be trying to move around and da 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 da. So yeah. So hopefully in the next three years, I will be looking into buying my forever home or building it. Um, I only say building because like I said, I've looked at some homes and they don't have everything I want. So there's certain stuff that like I look for in a home. Like for, like for instance, I really want a nice like organized, like compartmentalized closet already built. Like I don't want to have to go through the hassle of that. Like I kind of already have everything planned out in my head. I know that sounds kind of crazy because I still live in my mom's house, but um, I really want like white marble countertops, a very white, like clean looking kitchen. Um, I want dark wood. I don't want any carpet, things like that. I'm just kind of rambling right now, but yeah, basically in the next three years, hopefully I'm like about to buy my house, engaged, you know, making schmoney. Um, jobs. So as far as the job search, I'm currently looking at putting my resume out to a few companies. Um, there's a few that I've spoken with. I'm just kind of getting a feel for like the real world quote unquote because if you didn't know I obviously I work part time at a makeup store so that's not like a real deal job so just you know trying to perfect my resume um waiting on graduation so I can actually have you know proof that I graduated with my degree and um ideally I'd like to land a job that'll make me comfortable and when I say comfortable I don't necessarily mean rich I guess Comfortable to me is I can pay my bills, like say my monthly expenses are like $5,000. That for me to be comfortable, I would need to be making at least like seven to eight. That way everything I'm getting is not being depleted in bills so that I can't enjoy what I'm working for. I don't wanna work paycheck to paycheck, I guess essentially is what I'm saying. So I don't really have a preference, I guess, as to a company. I know a lot of people when they like are approaching graduation, they're like, I wanna work for Apple, I wanna work for this company, that company. Honestly, I wanna work for who is a good ethical company, who is going to treat me well, and who's going to pay me well. So any jobs watching this, get at me. But um, yeah, like I said, at this point, it's just a matter of getting my feet wet with the program well it's a matter of getting my feet wet in my area of study like I said um me personally I'm not you know promoting this but I didn't do any internships um throughout earning my degree so I haven't really had that hands-on one-on-one -on -one, like in scenarios experience that someone who maybe has done internships would have so for me it's mostly about getting a feel for what type of stuff I would be doing and progressing from there um, I was going to talk about relationships on this list, but, uh, I'll make that a separate video. So if you guys like these type of videos, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!